thing. Whoo, I love y'all. I'm glad you're here. Ain't no night like a Saturday night on the Grand Ole Opry. Whoo, and country music fans. I'm glad you're here to help stamp out negativism. I'm sick of negative folks. People walking around hunkered over looking like it just got over a hookworm treatment. Born in the objective case during dog days. Oh, we have a negative barber in my town. Ooh, ah! I've been working on him for 30 years. You go in his barber shop, the sun shining bright, say, pretty day today, ain't it? He'll say, be raining in an hour. If I wasn't a Christian, I'd hire somebody to kill him. My buddy Bill went in that barber shop, and that old pessimistic barber said, Bill, yeah, you gonna take a trip? I said, yeah, I'm gonna catch TWA Airlines, I'm gonna fly to Rome, and I'm gonna visit with the Pope. That old pessimistic barber said, TWA is the sorriest airline in the world. They'll lose your suitcase. They ain't never on time. You make it to Rome on that old SAR airline, Rome stinks this time of the year. And you ain't gonna get to see the Pope. If you see the Pope, you're going to stand down here with 100,000 folks hoping that Pope will walk out on a little old porch way up yonder on the side of the wall. You ain't going to get to see him. Well, old Bill is back in the barber shop in about a month, and that old pessimistic barber said, Bill, you didn't take that stupid trip, did you? Bill said, I did take a trip, and you lied to me. TWA was a wonderful airline. They were super. Them flight attendants was wonderful serving me them fine goodies on the way over there. We landed in Rome right on time. They didn't lose my suitcase. I took a whiff of Rome. Rome wasn't stinking. You lied about that. But they write about one thing. There was 100,000 folks all hunkered up together hoping that Pope would walk out on that little old porch. And that old pessimistic barber said, you didn't get to see me either, did you? He said, I did, did it. So while I was hoping that Pope would walk out on that shelf, a fella pulled at my sleeve, said, hey, buddy, come with me. The Pope sent me after you. We got on an elevator, went up four floors, and elevator door opened. What? <laughs> that <laughs> stood the Pope. And I said, brother Pope, this is a highlight of my trip, brother Pope, getting to see you one-on-one. -on -one. The old pessimistic barber said, Bill, why that Pope pick you out all them folks and bring you up as an individual? And Bill said, I wondered the same thing. And I asked the Pope why he sent for me. And the Pope said, young man, I wanted to pray for you and counsel with you because out of 100,000 people, you undoubtedly got the sorest haircut of anybody I ever saw. <laughs>